show you some stuff. Follow me. All right, let the cameraman put his margarita down real quick. Ooh. So first step of the rig, right here, right? Oh no, okay, sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, this sweet little boy. Hey, this is donut. Anyway, got some guitars. Primarily, we got this 2008 Gibson Explorer Elite. Look at her. She's a beaut. Tuned to drop B, C standard with the drummers. Yeah, no, drop C. Yeah. The C sharp standard with the drop B. Um, custom made carondelet. Oh Pick yeah, up. and who hooked you up with that? Like Greg Platzer, formerly of BCR, currently of Greg Platzer Guitars. RCB. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is used on probably seven of the ten songs. Look at that! Job. Oh, there she is. I was looking for that. We've got this Les Paul classic. Look Greg Platzer hooked me up with this third humbucker. It's beautiful. Mm. You like that. Yeah, man. How many Les Pauls have a third humbucker in them? Ace Frehley would know. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. We like Ace Frehley. Yeah, we do. Oh, so right. we got this bad boy. This is tuned to uh, C sharp, drop C sharp. Shock me. Songs. Yep. And then, oddly enough, I used this, uh, found, found this on the wall. It's a $100 pawn shop squire. Sounds great. It sounded beautiful. Single humbucker. Stays in tune. And that's Bardzix, right? Yep. Yeah, and he's got that little, yeah, that little kill switch. Kill switch. Ba -ba 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 that's how it sounds. Whammy bar Pretty he didn't use at all. If only Sometimes. Brian had one of those, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much about it, but I believe it's a late 60s super lead. Ooh. So before the Plexis came out. Right on. So clean channel. It's got bass, middle, treble, and this presence knob, which I'm not really sure what it does, but it makes the amp more present. Oh, does it turn it up? <laughs> I think so. I think it's just like a high-end sheen thing. Probably. So wait, he just had a 421, and what else we got here? What's Barzik doing? And telling the people, we're telling all Barzik secrets right now. He's gonna be mad. Yeah. Please go. Dude, uh, you can't do that. It's a microphone, dude. There's six of them in here. We're only using two of them. Yeah. Run of the mill, twenty dollar Amazon tuner pedal. Works great, you know. Uh, bypass output and a second output for direct clean signal. Got the big mump, big muff op amp, Billy Corgan special here. Ooh, Billy Corgan. Play Billy Corgan, yeah. who's he? <laughs> it's, uh, it's orange in color to commemorate really the uh, Smashing Pumpkins band. Yeah. Um, <laughs> got this pedal here. This is for all the juice, you know. All yeah. the distortion. This is a custom recreation of a vintage boss DF2. Mm. It's called the Hum Along because that's what the guy from home, Matt Talbot, used. Oh, that makes sense. But this has like what, higher output? The original DF2 has a feedbacker function Don't where I... if you hold the pedal down, it like produces synthetic feedback. This doesn't have that. But this mm. has more volume. Sick. Uh, got your... Joyo Vision dual modulation pedal. So this has like chorus and phaser and octave oh, yeah. settings and all kinds of shit I don't use. Some cool phaser stuff on yep. this record. Vintage boss chorus and delay. Both analog. Beautiful. And the wal walrus audio slot the, which is like an ambient reverb. And it's pretty. Yeah. And that's for vocals. We didn't that's, use that. Nope. No, we didn't use that. And that's Steve's Ray. Oh, 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 oh.